At Dyneema, our aim is to improve the safety, efficiency, and cost effectiveness of routine and non-routine lifting operations. This video has been created to address key points of attention regarding lifting operations for sling manufacturers and distributors, crane owners and operators, and cargo owners. Slings made from Dyneema were introduced to replace traditional slings such as steel wire ropes and grommets, chains and polyester slings. With this introduction, we haven't introduced just another synthetic fiber. The Dyneema fiber provides performance beyond that of traditional lifting gear. Slings made with Dyneema are as strong as traditional solutions, yet weigh considerably less, making them easier and safer to handle and decreasing the need for auxiliary equipment. The small diameter of slings made with Dyneema makes it easier to position them in components and fittings, and the higher stiffness provides better control during lifting. Slings made with Dyneema do not suffer from fish hooks and do not cause damage to lifted loads, improving safety while eliminating the cost of corrective maintenance and significantly reducing cost per lift. The durability of Dyneema's long-term properties also contributes to this reduction. As lifting equipment failure and lifting practices employed are the two main causes for lifting accidents, every person involved in a lift must have a thorough understanding of the basic principles of lifting operations, how to mitigate risks, and the best use of slings made from Dyneema. This tool provides guidance for the safe, efficient, cost-effective use of rope slings and round slings made with Dyneema. Let's take a closer look. Assemblies differ based on the type of sling. Rope slings are made from a laid or braided load-bearing core in an eye and eye or endless configuration. Round slings are made from a hank of yarn made from one or more strands of fiber wound together continuously and joined to form an endless sling. Each type of lifting operation and design factor on each continent requires a different set of legislation, regulations, and standards. Design factor is strongly linked to rated load. The rated load for a sling is determined by the type of lifting configuration, horizontal angles, and the ratio between the diameter of components and fittings and the diameter of the load-bearing construction. Sling identification should be maintained for legibility throughout the usable life of the sling and repaired when necessary. The effective work length of a sling is determined by the lifting configuration, center of gravity, horizontal angles, the length of required end termination, and length tolerances. Covers are woven tubular sleeves used to protect against abrasive surfaces and sharp edges and to help prevent premature failure of the load-bearing structures. The type of protective cover required depends on factors such as the shape and dimensions of the load, position of the coupling devices, handling of the sling, and risk of premature failure. The key parameters for components and fittings include the type, position, smoothness, and dimensions of the components and fittings, as well as the rated load. The lifting configuration, position of the coupling devices, and shape and dimensions of the payload determine the center of gravity, number of legs for loading, and the load control capabilities. Institutions such as DNV, LR, and IMCA have provided relevant provisions for proof testing. Keep in mind that provisions differ from continent to continent and based on type of lifting operation and whether the operation is being conducted onshore or offshore. The best way to prevent lifting accidents caused by premature failure is through frequent and periodic inspection and recertification of slings. All new, modified, or repaired slings should be inspected by a designated person to ensure compliance with the applicable provisions, and slings should be visually inspected before each and every use. There are no precise standards indicating when to discard a sling. However, sling manufacturers provide guidance documents. 
Safe lifting can only occur with safe and widely accepted and approved operating practices and by sharing best practices. Every person involved in a lift should be familiar with the lift plan. A job risk assessment is required to identify and mitigate the risk of both routine and non-routine lifts. When we couple safe lifting practices with high-performance slings made from Dyneema, we can improve the safety, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness of every lifting operation, no matter when, where, or how it takes place. To prevent lifting accidents, the best plan is to be safe, smart, alert, focused, educated.